Hello, my name's Lucy and today I'm going to be making black pepper popcorn. Um, and as a reminder, what I do is I cook things from start to finish with no cuts to make the editing easy for me and also so that if you're watching you can see exactly how long everything takes. Uh, and this one should be quite a quick one because making popcorn is a very quick activity. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, wash your hands. I've already done that. Uh, second of all, apron, because I feel like the oil's going to spit. And then the things that we need is uh, a big pan with a big lid. And because I don't quite know how well this is going to work, I'm using my old large pan because it's got a clear lid so I can see what's going on, but also if it gets a little bit beat up, it doesn't matter too much. So I've got that. So I need some oil. I'm using coconut oil, which I keep in the fridge. So uh, coconut oil. And then I'm going to get popcorn. Bag of which was in the cupboard. Um, and I need a bag, because I'm not going to use all of that popcorn. <laughs> Um, seriously, the smallest handful of popcorn produces more than enough popcorn for an entire army. And then a bowl to put it into. So, we'll go with that bowl, but it, oh, I'll need washing out unfortunately, so I'll just take two seconds just to go and give this a wipe. Because this bowl constantly gets dirty. And when the popcorn's done being uh, made, I probably still won't be able to eat all of it in one sitting, but I'll just cover it with cling film and that should be fine for uh, eating the rest of it tomorrow. Because popcorn's a good snacking food. Right, that's washed. Now I just need to dry it off. Uh, and this recipe for popcorn, um, I'm using black pepper because um, I used to get Gray's boxes before they um, they've got really unimaginative and they stopped being so interesting and they, they discontinued basically all of the ones that I liked and bought them for. Um, and one of the things they used to do and then discontinued was uh, black pepper flavoured popcorn. And I don't like sweet popcorn, um, I've always found it very dull, I'm not very interested in it. But black pepper popcorn, I found I really liked, so I'm, uh, and it's not really a thing you can buy anywhere. Toffee popcorn's nice. Um, so, yes, I'm going to try um, making my own black pepper popcorn um, because you can't really buy it anywhere. And the recipe I got, um, I basically checked online to make how to make popcorn and then looked at a couple of different recipes and they all basically said the same thing. Uh, so I'm fairly confident on what I'm doing. So basically what you do is you put some oil in the base of a pan, you heat it up, um, and you put three pieces of popcorn in, and once all three have popped, that means the oil's hot enough. So you take it off, off the heat to get things just under, the oil just under temperature, so that when you put it back on the heat, it goes immediately to the right temperature and all the popcorn co pops at once, which means you get all of the most of the kernels popped and you don't get any burnt bits. Um, so you put the kernels in the oil that's off the, off the heat, you wait 30 seconds, you put it back on the heat with a lid on um, and give it a bit of a shake occasionally and wait and basically wait until the popping is one every two seconds um, and then it's done and then you immediately take it off the heat and pop it in your bowl. So that's really quick, really easy. So I'm going yeah, to use oil and I'm going to use butter and I'm now going to move you over to here and dip. And there is my pan. I'm going to see if this helps or hinders. Oh, it doesn't make much of a difference. Right, so we're going to... I'm probably going to use a quarter of a cup of popcorn, which will still be more than enough. But um, all right, first I'm going to put the coconut oil in. The thing about coconut oil is it's hard, so it's hard to tell um, how much, so you can measure it in tablespoons by sort of hacking it out, but it's also very hard to hack out 
so I'm just sort of hacking at it. So I'm going to put some in, because like I say, it just needs to be just enough to heat the base of the pan. So I'm going to put some in, uh, then I'm going to turn the heat on and then see uh, how it does. Um, in terms of coverage and then add more if necessary. But yes, like I say, this, this for this, the prep work is going to be, I think, almost the entire length of time. It didn't say how long the pan takes to heat up, but it shouldn't be long on my gas burner. The thing about digging through this is, because um, it's like little fine bits, they're actually melting on my hand as I use the spoon. So I'm going to get coconut oil over my finger. Right. So I'll call that enough coconut oil for now. I feel this is going to flavour the popcorn, but I think the black pepper um, will balance it. And I'm just going to put in a bit of butter. Put in a bit of butter, because butter made her batter better. Um, so that. So I'm just now going to heat that gently enough to see um, if I need to add any more oil. So. And there we go. And you see the, see the coconut oil melts really quickly. And I'm just going to gently open this bag as well and get out my curls. I'm going to need a bit more oil, but uh, right. okay, bag open. I also honestly don't think I'm going to have time to, um, popcorn's going to be noisy. Okay, so I've got my quarter cup, and I've got my three kernels, so there we go. On that, I think I'm going to need a bit more oil, so I'm just going to chuck some more oil in. Sorry, I've taken it off the heat so it doesn't keep heating while I do this. There's some more oil. I think one of that large wedge should do it. Oh, there we go. That last little bit. There, right. Okay, so heat that up. It's definitely going to be enough. I've already done the grass is coming back so fast right so that's the so yeah that's gonna be possibly slightly too much oil and liquid now but that that looks that looks nice a nice layer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle salt over in advance that would probably make popcorn salty enough you can also obviously if you like buttery popcorn you can melt the butter um, in, you can make the popcorn and then just quickly in the pan melt off some butter and then just pour it over I want black pepper. I don't really know how much to use. So, but I know, and I'm putting this in so that all the popcorn gets covered in it. But I'm gonna do a light, um, basically this, this is multiple grinds, but I'm just gonna get that nice light covering over the entire surface so that all of the popcorn has some pepper on it without there being too much pepper in it being unpleasantly overpowering. I think we're at the point where we can now crank up the heat. So that's the heat cranked up. And I'm going to pop in three pieces of popcorn. Wait till they pop. And once they've all popped, then 
um, then I can uh, obviously perform the next steps. And that's the, and it says what well, one of the things it says while you're shaking is if you can crack the pan while you shake it. And I'm like, um, then the popcorn will be crisp because you'll let the steam out. I'm like, that's good, but uh, that seems tricky. However, because this is a like a saucepan in many ways, it's got the lid with the uh, like the lid's already got a cover on it. Okay, so that's the oil. The oil's bubbling. And like I said, I don't know how long this takes, but it, it cannot take long because it's not very much oil. Uh, and this stove is a very hot stove. You're also now just seeing a steamed up pan, but there's not anything even more interesting happening in any of the rest of the kitchen. So I've got my timer ready, I've got my corn kernels ready. Like I said, I'm, I'm just doing a quarter of a cup and we'll see how much popcorn that makes. And then if I make it again in the future, I'll know, I'll know how long, uh, uh, I'll know how much to do. But like I said, a third of a cup makes a nice big bowl and um, I'm just on my own, so I don't need any more. And we're waiting to hear three pfft. <laughs> Possibly there is time to start talking about something, but this is going to be noisy um, once it goes. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Let's the steam house. Yeah, there's one's gone. You can see, but the other two are still. Oh, God. oh, and that did splatter. So I'm glad I was having the lid on for the other one. How? That does smell strongly coconutty. So once the other one goes, it shouldn't be long. The third. So we take it off the heat. Yeah, I think this piece of popcorn actually flew completely out of the oil, which is, um, means I don't know where it's gone, but anyway, now, so in an even layer, cover them, 30 seconds, and yeah, like you can see, that, like I said, that's a quarter of a cup, you could easily do, um, do a third of a cup or even half a cup, and that would still because it needs to be in a thin layer, because the point of the thin layer is, um, you can't see it very clearly now, but the point is in, um, so you have to take my word for it, but the point of a thin layer is so that it doesn't um, cook unevenly, so that each one can, uh, okay, right, and onto the heat. Yeah, the point of a thin layer, every soft and moist as well shake. Uh, this pan's also useful because it's got the handle on one side and the handle on the other side. Um, the thin layer is useful because it means everything is evenly coated with none standing above the oil that aren't getting covered or aren't going. Again I'll rotate it back and forward. Which again I think with this little popcorn it matters less but uh, just and also because um, because the way gas hobs work, there is like hotter and colder bits of the pan. So if I keep moving it, then uh, oh, it's starting to go. If I keep moving it, uh, then everything will go evenly. Oh, because the oil won't get hotter in the box. It will move around. Oh. <laughs> Right, I think that's kept gone for enough, and now you want to end it quickly so the base doesn't burn. Oh, yeah, and that's a lot of popcorn. And I've accidentally dropped some on the floor. Right, and as you can see, this is how full this bowl is of popcorn. And that was from a scoop, my quarter cup, this scoop size of popcorn kernels. It, it, it just, it makes, it seems to make more popcorn than there is grain kernels. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, 
So uh, there we go. Um, now we're going to have it uh, give it a little taste, see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. So needs more black pepper, so I may melt some butter and some black pepper into that and pour it over to get more of a coating. Because like I said, I didn't know how much it needed. that was really really quick um, really really easy well that was a good salty one so it was quick easy the popcorn tastes nice so uh, there we are I've already tried it in front of you so there won't be a, any further feedback um, but yeah that was popcorn quick easy bon appetit <laughs>